Welcome back to another Extreme Clean With Me video. I'm Amy and today I'm gonna to be getting my house back in order after the weekend. I'm gonna be catching up on tons and tons of laundry and then doing a little bit of deep cleaning as well. So get your to-do list ready and let's clean together. All right, you guys, I hope you are ready for tons of cleaning motivation, especially if you need some laundry because we are gonna be catching up on all of that today. This video was actually filmed after the weekend, and so all of this mess is just from us getting home late on Sunday night. We had been out of town for a cheerleading competition in Charleston, and we didn't get home until almost nine o'clock on Sunday night, so we just kind of dropped all of our things and did nothing after we got home. We got the kids showered and in the bed so that way they could be ready for school the next day. And I was very, very behind on laundry, which you're gonna see throughout this video because I don't even know how many loads of laundry I did in this video. Y'all will have to count and let me know if you figure it out. But the pollen has been so horrible here and actually Chance was sick at the beginning of the last week and then around Tuesday or Wednesday, I started kind of feeling bad and just, it wasn't like horrible. I wasn't running a fever or anything like that, but I think the pollen was just getting to me and I just felt weak and my nose was all stuffy. I kept getting headaches. And so I did not get very much done during the week and so I got very behind on laundry, very behind on cleaning. So I'm just kind of after the weekend, um, which actually over the weekend, I still kind of felt a little bit bad while we were at the cheerleading competition. It was more of just like, you know, feeling stuffy and a headache. And so I took some Tylenol each day and honestly that kind of kept everything at bay. <laughs> but by Sunday night, I was feeling so much better and ready to get my house back in order after, you know, not doing anything for almost a whole week. So that's mainly what I'm going to be doing today is just starting out with picking up all of the things. I actually took all the kids' things and took them up to their room so that way when they get home from school, they can actually put all of their things away. And then I am just tidying up the house, putting all the snacks back in the pantry, cleaning up the kitchen, and doing lots and lots of laundry. So in my last video, I had you guys tell me your good news, something to celebrate, and I loved reading all of your comments and all of the great things that are going on in your lives. So if you guys want to share stuff with me, I would love to hear any of your good news and something exciting that we can celebrate together. I feel like in life, there are just so many things that we could complain about every single day, but when we try to focus on finding something good that happened in the day, I just feel like it makes everything so much better. It makes our little complaints. I mean, I know that sometimes we have really big complaints or really bad things that are going on in our lives that we need prayer for, 
but I also think that when we can look at things in our day and count our blessings and think about how much we have to be grateful for, then it definitely puts me in a better mood, puts things into perspective a little bit better for me, and, you know, just overall uplifts me and makes me feel like I can tackle anything. Now, as I was cleaning my sink today, I noticed that I could see that the garbage disposal area looked a little bit gross, and so I decided to pull out my stopper. I know that not everyone has a stopper like this. They can just pull out and clean, but I am so grateful that I can do this because it's just so much easier to clean it than if I had to, like, take the sink apart and do all of that. But y'all let me know when was the last time you cleaned in your garbage disposal area. I feel like I have to do this. I should do it more often than I do, but I do try to do this at least once a month so it doesn't get too, too bad. I think the first time I ever did this, I didn't even realize that this thing came out. And so the first time that I'd ever did this was the grossest it's ever been. And so now I try to think about this at least once a month. So I'm just taking my little scrubber tool. This is like a little electric scrubber and it just gets in those really small cracks or those small little areas that, you know, the sponge isn't gonna get as well. And it does such a good job. And I just use some Dawn Power Wash to clean this. And then after I cleaned the stopper, I wanted to clean down inside of there, way down deep into the garbage disposal. So I just took a little bit of ice and put it in there and then I turned my garbage disposal on, which is supposed to help clean the blades and get like anything that's caked on off of there. I have seen people use baking soda and vinegar, but I also have seen where plumbers have said it's not good to put baking soda down your drain. So I'm confused, I don't know. So I just did this and tried to keep the baking soda out. And then I'm using this probiotic drain maintenance by Mrs. Myers. I've shown this before in a video and this is supposed to help with drain maintenance and keeping it from you know getting clogged up and everything. So I just poured a little bit of that in there and then here you can see this is the joys of having a white sink is I have little scuff marks that get on the sink from pots and pans and then also some discoloring on the inside of the sink from the hard water. So I always just pull out the pink stuff. This stuff is magic. So if you have a white sink and you're trying to keep it white, then I highly recommend this. I use this at least once a week in my sink to just kind of keep up with all of that. The scuff marks come off so fast. I barely have to do any scrubbing. And then I do have to do a little bit more scrubbing on the areas where there's the discoloring from the hard water stains. But honestly, it comes out easier than any other product. I don't think I've ever tried any other product that actually gets this stuff out. So highly recommend this. It also works great on stainless steel or caked on messes on your stove. This stuff is awesome. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But now the never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I've won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky I won't let the door hit when I leave Shouldn't know by your rap sheet That you weren't nice But now I am telling Okay, so I told you guys that this was after almost a week of really not doing any cleaning. Now, luckily, I had my husband was feeling better later in the week when I was starting to feel bad. So, of course, like after dinners and stuff like that, he would kind of pick up the kitchen. Um, but other than that, like, like I said, we did no laundry. Um, we just kind of dropped our stuff around the house and it was just a mess. So... I'm just curious, do you guys ever have those weeks where you feel like you did nothing all day? Okay, I'm showing you my watch really quick because I actually had to pause my cleaning because I went to a tennis lesson, a beginner tennis lesson 
for the first time ever. And it was so much fun. So I'm going to be doing that um, weekly with my friends. And I've never played tennis before. So I was not good at all. I was trying to swing it like a softball bat. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. But anyways, so I had to pause my cleaning and go do that. But now I'm back and getting after some more cleaning. But like I was saying, um, do you guys ever have those weeks where you just got nothing done? Maybe you were busy or sick or you just didn't feel like cleaning and you have so much to do to get your house back in order. Well, that's where I was on this day. Now, sometimes the mess is so big and I know that I have a to-do list a mile long, so I can get overwhelming for sure. But I do feel like after not doing anything for like a whole week, I honestly get more motivated and I'm ready to, you know, get my house back in order. But one of the things that really helps me, I think, is making a list and really being realistic with myself about how much I can complete in a day. So this actually took me two days to get all of this cleaning done. So for day one, I made my list and I made sure that it was attainable because I'm the type of person that if I don't get everything checked off my list and I have a bunch of things left over for the next day, then that makes me feel defeated. So I made a list and I made sure that on the on day one I was focusing on at least tidying up every single space maybe it wasn't going to be perfectly clean maybe I wasn't going to get to any deep cleaning I knew I wasn't going to get every single bit of my laundry done because it was just so much so my, on my list I made sure that I said that I was going to clean the kitchen up clean up my bedroom make sure all the laundry and everything got put away from the weekend and tidy up the living room and then of course do whatever laundry I could get done for the day. So that was my main goal for day one. And then for day two, I wanted to focus on getting all of the stuff in the bathroom put away because we had a lot of toiletry items and bags and things all over the counter that were from the weekend. But I knew I wasn't gonna be able to clean the bathroom that day, so I was gonna focus on the bathroom the next day. And then I also wanted to focus on getting the rest of the laundry cleaned, get the laundry room clean because you could see that was a total disaster, and then also do the floors. So overall, my advice is that when you have a huge to-do list, you have tons of things to do, break them up into smaller to-do lists, things that are attainable based on the amount of time you have to do all of this stuff. So I am trying to get all of this stuff done from the time that my kids are dropped off at school and I get back home, obviously, to when I have to go pick my kids up because I know that I'm not going to be able to do anything after my kids are done with school because we have homework, we have sports that I have to drive them to and from, and I just know that I'm not going to be able to get anything done in the evenings. So if you're like me and you have a huge mess to clean, then I want you to try this method out. Let me know if it works for you. I want you to try to just Focus on getting three or four things done for the day. Let me know how that goes and then leave the rest for the next day. Okay, and I just have to mention here, I was laughing at myself watching this back because here I was being lazy because I was, well, I say I was being lazy. I was trying to hurry up and finish the cleaning for the day because I knew it was getting close to time for me to go pick up the kids. And so instead of changing the attachment, I, I have an upholstery attachment for this cordless vacuum. Instead of changing the attachment, I just left it on there and just vacuumed the couch like it was. And really the only reason I even vacuumed the couch is because our cats lay on these couches. And I noticed there's one spot where they lay the most. You'll see them throughout the videos um, where they lay on that uh, love seat couch. And I noticed that there was some hair, there was some cat hair on there and it was visible. Usually it's not very visible, but it obviously needed to be vacuumed. So instead of changing the attachment, I just left it on there, vacuumed that up really quick. And then I did a quick vacuum on our rug because our pillows, the feathers come out all the time. And so there were some feathers that were on the floor and our robot vacuum had already vacuumed the whole house earlier in the morning. So I just did a quick vacuum since I already had it out. I'm going to smile, but I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see, but now the never, ever, ever seem to be over, I saw. 
so I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh oh, uh oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. I won, got it done. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh oh, uh oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I won at the door, hit when I leave. I guess that I was born beneath a very lucky star. Out of luck and now it's my time Ain't no looking back, I'm on the ride Okay, so now we're moving into my bedroom and you can see it's a huge mess. And honestly, I usually make my bed every single morning, first thing in the morning. But I feel like in all of my cleaning videos, I always am starting with making my bed. And I just don't want y'all to get bored. So I knew I was going to be cleaning in here later in the day. And so I just left the bed so that way it would all be a little bit later in the video. But I am just cleaning up. We had lots of clothes from the weekend. I needed to unpack this suitcase, make my bed obviously, and then I had a huge load of laundry that was already clean that needed to be folded. I try. Here she goes. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky I won't let the door hit when I leave I guess that I was born beneath a very lucky star Okay, so I am going to fold load number one so this is not the first load that's been washed. This was actually washed before we left for the weekend. I just never folded them. They've just been sitting in this basket. So I am gonna fold this load of laundry and I'm actually watching The Bachelor. Um, I haven't watched The Bachelor in so long. Probably like, I don't know, five or six years maybe. Maybe even longer than that. But I decided to watch The Bachelor one day just because I was feeling bad last week and I was like, hmm, I'll watch this. There's nothing else to watch. So I watched that while I folded laundry and now I'm into it and I'm all caught up and I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I'll watch the next season, but I'm invested for this season. <laughs> so I'm going to finish it. Now here you can see I am done folding this load of laundry. So I'm just going to take this basket up to my son's room and I actually have a few things in here for Gracie June too. So I'll take her clothes and I'll go put them on her bed. And then that way the kids can put all of their clothes away when they get home from school. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. My kids have not really been doing chores lately and that's totally my fault. I'm so good about having their chore charts during the summer and having them keep up with their chores and doing things daily. But during the school year, it gets so hard. And I feel like this year has been even harder just because my kids switched schools. They're now at a private school. And mainly the reason that we decided to switch was one, it's a Christian school. We love the school. My husband actually graduated from the same school that they're at. So that's really cool. Um, but also the school is so much smaller. So the school that they would have gone to, the public school that they would have gone to for middle school is huge. There's over 600 kids in the sixth grade alone. And so at the school that they're at now, in Kaysen's sixth grade class, there are only 86 kids. So it's a lot smaller. There's just more opportunities. All the teachers know them. So it has been wonderful. But it does take us 30 minutes to get to school and then it takes me another 30 minutes to drive back home. So it does end up being a little bit more during the day, at least 30 minutes more for them. And then they are both involved in sports. Um, Kaysen has practice for baseball usually two or three days a week and he stays at the school until about 5.30. And then Gracie June has cheer, and that's two days a week, but that's in, that's later in the evening. She doesn't start cheer until 5.30 and then gets out at 7, and then it's another 30 minutes to get home. So by the time we get home, it's like 7.45, almost 8 o'clock, and they still have to do homework. A lot of times Gracie June will do her homework right after school, and then Kaysen will do his right after practice. So really, they just don't have a whole lot of extra time for me to be making them do chores. 
Um, but I will say they put up their own laundry. They will clean up like the sink after dinner. So they'll load the dishes. They'll help unload the dishes, things like that. They'll clean up the table. So anything I ask them to do, putting up their mess in the evenings, if I tell them to, you know, like, hey, take your, get out, grab all your stuff that you've left downstairs, go take it upstairs and put it where it belongs, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what we've been doing during the school year. I was watching one of Kimberly Wad's videos the other day, and I thought this was a genius idea. She said that her kids have one day a week that's called chore day. So they do all their chores in this one day. So I thought that that was really cool. And even if like my kids ended up doing it on different days, because I know there are some days that Kaysen has practice, but Gracie June does not. So on the day that they don't have practice could be their chore day. So I'm not sure if this is something that would work for you guys or if you do chore, your kids do chores every single day. I would love to hear how you guys do it. Um, like I said, we're really, really good about chores during the summer, but during the school year, not so much. So I might try to implement this one day a week that even if it's different days for my kids, that each of them have a list of chores that they have to get done for that day. Y'all let me know what you think about that and also let me know what kind of chores your kids do. So my son is in sixth grade and then my daughter is in fourth. So they're very capable. They should be able to do a lot more than I make them do. So I definitely need to get all that figured out. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel Screaming out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances all right, so we are making tons of progress. I am almost done cleaning out the laundry room and it feels so good. This is kind of like one of our drop zones. I feel like the kitchen counter and the laundry room are our drop zones because we don't have like a mud room or anything. And we come in straight from the garage and then end up throwing clothes in here, like dirty clothes a lot of times, especially baseball stuff, um, towels, and then anything else that needs to go out to the garage, maybe we just drop it off on the counters. I don't know. So it gets a mess really quickly. So it feels really good to have it all cleaned up. But now I'm moving into my bathroom. And here you can see I've got all of our toiletry bags um, sitting here from the weekend. And I'm just going to go through and put everything where it belongs and clean up the bathroom. She thinks nobody sees. When she's gonna miss her so I tell her baby please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh and I just wanna tell her how I feel Screaming out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? Your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love So I'm curious, when do you guys have spring break? I know some of you homeschool, so you probably get to choose your spring break, which is pretty cool. Um, but my kids actually have spring break this week. So the week of St. Patrick's Day is always a huge week in Savannah. Like St. Patrick's Day is huge, which 
we never end up going downtown to the parade or anything. They do have a parade on Tybee, which is awesome, but the parade downtown gets a little crazy, so we don't usually go. I just, you know, being in a huge crowd like that is kind of overwhelming for me, and so we don't really go. I think I've been one time, and Kaysen was a baby, and I was, like, freaking out because, um, one, there was a huge crowd, but also... To go to the bathroom, we had to go, like, they had churches around there that would actually, I don't know if it was actually the church or who was doing this, but there would be people standing outside, and you actually had to pay <laughs> to go to the bathroom, and the line was forever long, so you're waiting so long. I don't know. I don't know if things have changed since then, but to pay to go to the bathroom at a church, I thought was kind of crazy, so... Anyways, my kids have spring break this week, so we're trying to figure out some things to do. The weather doesn't look like it's going to be that great. It's been in the 80s the last few weeks, and then now for spring break, it's going to be like mid-60s, which some of y'all are probably like, yeah, that's warm, but to us, that is cold. And we actually decided not to go anywhere for spring break just because we're going to be out of town the first part of the spring break, the weekend, for a baseball tournament. And then Gracie June still has cheer practice because a lot of the schools around us have different spring breaks. So she'll still have cheer practice Monday and Wednesday. And we could have gone somewhere later in the week, but we have been out of town the last three weekends in a row. And so we were just kind of like, let's just stay home. And if there's a nice day, maybe we can go out on the boat, go to the beach, something like that. So hopefully we'll get a couple of warmer days to where we can actually do some stuff outside. Well, we'll be able to do stuff outside, but you know what I mean? Like go to the beach or the pool or something like that. But I don't know if you guys remember, but the first video of the year, I kind of talked about some of our goals for the year. And one of the things that I really want to do this summer is take my kids on an airplane somewhere. So they've never been on an airplane before. I don't even remember the last time I flew on an airplane, honestly. But Chance has for like business trips and stuff like that. But my kids have never been on an airplane. So... We were talking about possibly doing a trip to the Bahamas over the summer, just flying there and doing like four or five nights at a resort there in the Bahamas. And I think my kids would really love it. And there seems like a lot to do. One of my friends was kind of telling me about, they go all the time. And she was kind of telling me about the different hotels and uh, or resorts or whatever there and all the things to do. So we are talking about possibly doing it later in July because Kaysen will not get done with baseball until early July. And Gracie June will just have cheer practice, but they'll be okay to miss because cheer season is pretty much over. They just practice. So I am excited. If you guys have been in Nassau or um, that area, if you have any tips or tricks, let me know because we are going to be planning that and trying to get it all planned out very soon. Okay, I don't know how many kitchen gadgets you can have, but I have seen this little gadget all over TikTok and Instagram, so of course I had to buy it. It's a rotary grater. We do have a cheese grater, but this thing looks way easier to use. We also have a dicer and vegetable cutter and all that stuff, but this just looks way easier, so I bought it off of Amazon. I'm going to have, tr have to try it, but look, you've got slicer, you've got a shredder, and then a fine shredder. So yeah, I'll try this thing out and let you guys know how it works. Okay, so it is definitely spring here. Like I said, the weather has been so nice. The pollen is crazy, um, but I am ready to start decorating for spring. So I think I'm gonna try to include that in next week's video. I didn't 
have time to pull out any of the spring decor for this video. But I also got a bunch of stuff in from Target right here, which maybe I'll show you a little haul in next week's video. I got some cute clothes. I got a new bathing suit, a cute dress um, to wear to my cousin's wedding. And so maybe I'll put a little haul. Let me know if you want to see that. Let me know if you want a Target haul in my next video. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to probably start putting out some spring decor. I got on Amazon the other day and ordered a couple of new doormats. We really needed one for our back door where we come in from the garage because we are tracking in all kinds of stuff. I could literally do the floors and within 20 minutes, our floor is messy again in that area. But, um, I also got a new mat for the front door, which is really cute. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to be putting out some spring decor later this week, and I will include that in next week's video. Okay, so the last thing on my to-do list is the floors, and then I will actually have my house back in order, and I was so pumped by this part because I was just like, okay, I am almost done with that last to-do on my list, and I will be able to check it off. So for my floors today, I'm actually using my iFloor 2. Now this is an older version, so they do have several newer versions than this one, but I've been using this thing for over a year now and I love it. I feel like it works so good. I have never used any of the updated versions. I might have to try one soon to let you guys know what I think about the difference, but for the price, I think this thing is amazing. So if you've been in the market for a vacuum that also does the mopping at the same time and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, you just don't have a big budget, then I highly recommend this one. So I'm going to be using this all over the downstairs. It vacuums and mops at the same time so I don't have to pull out my other vacuum and vacuum all the floors and then mop the floors. So this kind of cuts down your vacuuming and mopping time in half. I love using this for more of like a daily, I, I don't use it every single day, but I do use it more than my O-Cedar Spin Mop just to kind of keep up with the floors and be able to vacuum and mop at the same time. But I still use my O-Cedar Spin Mop at least once a week, but obviously it's been a couple weeks since I used my O-Cedar Spin Mop because I didn't do anything last week. But I usually use the O-Cedar Spin Mop just for a deeper clean once a week because I can actually get on my baseboards and clean my baseboards at the same time as I'm mopping. So that's what I love about the O-Cedar Spin Mop. I also used a different solution. So in the Tenko iFloor 2, it comes with a solution to use. So I use that. And then for my O-Cedar Spin Mop, I use Pine Saw. So if you want to check out the Tenko iFloor 2 that I have here, I will make sure to leave a link down in the description box. And then I also have links to any of the other cleaning products, any of my cleaning favorites, um, any home decor, outfits, all kinds of things on my Like to Know It page and also in my Amazon storefront. So I'll have links to those down in my description box.
Okay, so the Tenko is actually not really meant for rugs or anything, but this was the first time that I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to vacuum the rug in here really quick and see how it does. And this is a very thin rug, so I was like, you know, it'll be fine. Um, so I did it and I was like, you know what? I mean, there's barely any water left at all afterwards and it did a really good job. So then I was like, I'm going to vacuum this little rug that goes here in the laundry room and it did so good. So I don't know, I might start trying to use this on my rugs every now and then. It's definitely not going to be like a carpet cleaner, but the only thing I'm worried about is um, it doesn't have like an anti-tangle brush roll or anything like that. So it'll probably get a lot of hair wrapped around it if I do it too often. But this is the thing, you guys. With the Tenko iFloor 2, a lot of people say how bad it stinks and all this stuff. And I will say, if you do not clean it regularly, then it will put out a smell. So I try to do this at least once a week. I will clean all of the parts to my Tenko iFloor 2. So here, I am just cleaning out the gross little bin and it has a sponge that kind of goes in there. I don't really know what it does. I'm not sure, but I think if you don't clean that, then it'll start stinking. So I'm just using a little bit of Dawn dish soap and some hot water, and I'm gonna clean all of these parts and then let them completely air dry. You wanna make sure that they completely air dry before you put them back into your Tenko. And then I did not pull out the brush roll today, but you do wanna make sure that you pull out your brush roll and really clean that at least once a week too, because that can get really stinky and it can make it stink while you're using it. So even though this is a little extra maintenance than using an O-Cedar spin mop, I don't have to, you know, clean a bunch of parts every time I use my spin mop, but it does still save you so much time in the long run. So yeah, I'm cleaning and having to maintain this, but overall my vacuuming and mopping time is cut in half. So it's totally worth it to me. All right, guys, so that is all of the cleaning. I got my entire to-do list checked off for two days. It felt so good to have my house back in order. And like I said, now I'm ready to start decorating for spring. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and just getting motivated or cleaning with me. It means so much that you're here. And y'all be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And then if you are new, then make sure to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of those upcoming videos. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.